Some animals' combat gear is built for both attack and defence. Two crabs fight for territory like knights in medieval armour. Within the suit of armour is a vulnerable body, but it is well guarded. The crab is a reinforced contraption built of levers, pivots and joints. Formidable claws deliver crushing power. Even the eyes are mounted on retractable turrets. Powerful legs drive it into gaps and rocks, a gladiator safe in its fortress. It seems that nothing could storm the crab's defences. But one creature can. Its design is totally the opposite. It has long, sinuous arms elastic suckers and a soft body. But unlike the crab, its armour is worn inside. The octopus eases out of its den. It steers its siphons and glides towards a possible meal. The crab sees the predator coming and runs for cover. But it's forced to defend itself. The octopus descends like a cloud and envelops the crab, rendering the claws useless. Smothered within a web of suckers, the crab is swept back to the den. The crab is protected by its armour and is too strong to be simply pulled apart. But in the safety of its den, the octopus unveils its own hidden hardware. In its mouth, it has two armoured tongues. The first, seven millimetres long and called the radula, is loaded with rows of spiky teeth. The second, the papilla, is studded. Their purpose is to break through the crab's armour. First the radula grinds away the outer layers of shell, close to the crab's heart. It's like scraping reinforced concrete. Then the papilla drills a tiny hole. It injects toxins into the crab's flesh, causing the armour to fall away. But even with its formidable power tools, it still takes 40 minutes to break its prey's defences. <laughs> 